everybody. I just want to take a moment to thank you all for coming out for the dedication for Miss Dawn's Book Nook. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Leanne. I am the Vice President of the Friends of the Library. Also here with me, we have Rosa, our Treasurer, Carol, our Secretary, Teresa, the President, and Marla, who is our Fundraising Chair. So again, we just want to thank you all for coming out, taking time, especially around dinner time, to come out for this. It really means a lot. And we're just going to get started with some words from our president. So this week has been a little difficult for me, knowing that I was coming up to say a few words. And every time I started thinking about what I wanted to say, it was coming out like a eulogy rather than a celebration of Dawn's life. And every time I started, I heard that voice saying, oh, honey, no. <laughs> and she said that to me often. And I heard the laugh, and I started all over again. So I wanted to start by quoting one of Dawn's favorite philosopher, the most revered and wise Eeyore. <laughs> A little consideration, a little thought of others, makes all the difference. And I think if anybody knew Dawn, they knew that she made the difference. If you have one character trait that you can assign to Dawn, the first one would be civic-minded because Dawn loved openly. She loved her family. She loved her daughters. And everybody knew them as Jackie and Tina because she talked about you all the time. And she was so immensely proud and loved you fiercely. But beyond that, she was not just a mother. She was not just a faithful and devoted wife daughter, daughter-in-law, sister, by blood or by heart. She opened herself and gave everything she had back to the community, whether it be in politics for the 9th and 10th Ward or spending more than a dozen years on the Board of Ed advocating for our children or teaching CCD at St. E's, or right here in the library. There is nothing more important to Dawn than our children. And the one thing that she loved more than anything besides her family was reading. So we thought of nothing that could be more fitting than a book nook for the children's room. So I'm not gonna get everybody started. I will end with a quote by another one of Dawn's favorites from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Reading dreams. That's what started her walking down the road. Every day she'd walk a little further a mile and come back home, two miles and come back home. And one day, she just kept going. Thank you for coming. And I think we're gonna take a moment now um, of silence, reflection. reflection. And I would like to take a moment now to thank profusely the executive staff, the executive board of the Friends and Marla, our, our fund chair. Um, none of this could have been done without them. And they're working day and night trying to pull this together. Yeah. And quite frankly, stepping into Dawn's shoes is a very hard task and it actually takes all of us and we don't come close to the job that she's done. So if everybody has their rose, if anybody would like to bow our head 
and take a moment to think of Dawn. And now I would ask Tina and Jackie to come up to actually cut the ribbon. I'm here at the library. I actually work here. I love this place. 